Well, hello. We find ourselves in North Carolina and we have come upon the Lumber River, 133 mile river. And the original settlers called it Drowning Creek, which is the headwaters to the Lumber River in North Carolina. And we find ourselves in South Central North Carolina and the Lumbee Indians were named after the Lumber River. And we find ourselves in Penbrook, North Carolina, just below Fayetteville, or kind of west of Fayetteville, at the uh, University of North Carolina at Penbrook. And again, we come upon this interesting sign. Let's see if I can zoom it in for you. And it says, University of North Carolina at Penbrook, established 1887 as the state normal school for Indians. Since 1972, the campus of the University of North Carolina. And this is one of the signs next to the road in Pembroke, North Carolina. And let me find you another one just down the road. And here's another sign I found to be interesting next to the road in Pembroke, North Carolina. Henry Berry Lowry, Indian, champion of the poor, declared outlaw. He eluded captive capture and disappeared in swamps in about the year 1872. His house is three miles northwest of Pembroke, North Carolina, and we're here at the North Carolina School for Indians. And I hope I can hold it steady enough. This is a Pembroke High School, but the sign out front says Indian Education and Resource Center. And we're here again at North Carolina University at Pembroke. We're going to try to hunt down the Eastern Native American Museum here in the university.